Here you can see a group of our juvenile sturgeon that have reached their size range of roughly a foot long and a half a pound in weight and are ready to be stocked out into the Snake River. My name is Riley Olson. I'm a fish culturist here at the Niagara Springs Sturgeon Hatchery and today we're going to be talking about our first year class of sturgeon that we've been raising here at the hatchery and kind of what we've been doing to get these fish ready to go out and be stocked back into the Snake River. We are now inside of the hatchery building that is operated in partnership with Idaho Fish and Game and Idaho Power Company. And we will be showing you our process of marking our sturgeon and testing their genetics to ensure that every fish we release is able to reproduce successfully. We begin the process by removing a bone-like plate on the sturgeon side called a scoot. This allows us to identify the fish as a hatchery raised fish in the future. Before scoot removal, fish are anesthetized in a water-based solution to allow for easier handling and to ensure fish safety. Each fish has a pit tag inserted underneath its skin to give it a unique identification number. Fin clips from a small portion of these fish are taken and will allow geneticists to test the range of genetic diversity of the fish raised in the hatchery. A wider range of genetic diversity then allows us to stock more individuals into the Snake River in coming years and will then in turn provide more angler opportunity for Idaho's residents. A small blood sample is taken from each fish to test its ploidy or number of sets of chromosomes in each blood cell. Each blood sample is analyzed with a coulter counter to determine if each fish is able to spawn and produce future generations of sturgeon. A very small number of fish tested, less than 1%, were found to have abnormal ploidy and were culled to prevent production of sterile offspring. After ploidy testing, fish are weighed and sorted into tanks based on size for stocking. A predetermined size range of half a pound and a foot long is needed to stock sturgeon based on previous stocking survival rates. We now have our hatchery's first year class of sturgeon ready to be stocked out into the Snake River. These fish will aid in the long-term increase in Idaho's sturgeon populations and sustainability for Idaho's anglers to enjoy for future generations.